Hey guys, Mariel here. So before I start this episode, I would like to make a quick disclaimer that I have upgraded my studio thing, I guess you could call it. Well, okay, Um, to put it in more detail is that I've gotten a new drawing studio recently, along with an all-new microphone, which hopefully my voice will be in better quality and I'm gonna probably get auto-tuned soon, just... So my singing could sound less like nails on glass. So anyway, um, uh, hopefully you enjoy the episode. I'm sorry if I had to interrupt your precious time to see this episode of Life and Animal Crossing just for a boring update. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the episode and I will see you guys at the end for a special announcement. Hopefully. I think. You know what? Roll film! Ugh, I'm so bored today. I wonder what I should do. I might just play some video games, but hell, I do that every day. Ugh. Today is such a boring day. Wait, I do suppose I could go out with Joseph and the gang? I haven't had an outing with the Cyber Squad since I don't know how long. I'll call them right now. Hello? Oh, hey, Joseph. It's Mariel. Oh, hey, babe. What's up? Listen, I have to ask you something. Uh, do you suppose we could all go out for dinner tonight? You know, at that one restaurant we always used to go to as a group? Oh, uh, sure. That would be interesting. <laughs> What's up? Oh, nothing. I <laughs> got a case of boredom today. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, what time should we meet up? I don't know, probably uh, 6.30. I have nothing to do. Alright, 6.30 it is. See ya. See ya. Did Joseph forget something? Uh, I'll get it. Hello? Hello, Mario. Uh, who are you? I... Did, did Joseph, like, miscall someone? <laughs> No, he has not misled anyone. Listen, I have some tips on how you can... Oh, how shall I put this? Get a bit better figure? Uh, figure? <laughs> Listen, whoever you are, I am not really into those body image things. But just... Break it to me slowly. Besides this whole crap you're talking to me about is a waste of my time. Mariel, dear, it's just simple. Don't eat so much. <sighs> Look, just leave me alone. One day you'll see that you'll take my advice very clearly. I'll see you later. Bye. Who the frick was that? Ugh, doesn't matter. It's best I get ready for dinner tonight. <laughs> All right, where are they see? Oh, there they are! Hey, guys! Oh, hey, babe! Here, Muriel, I saved you a seat. <laughs> Ew, gross! <sighs> Matt, will you shut up? Uh, oh, um, no. By the way, what does shut up mean? Ugh, never mind. Wait a minute, Slider. Where's Jackie? Ugh, she's at the bar again. Dear God, I wish she would stop drinking. She said it. she would stop drinking for her New Year's resolution, but nope. That was totally my mistake. I said I was gonna give up drinking for Lent. Jackie, we're atheists. How can we give up stuff for Lent when we're not even Christian? So, does everyone know what they want to order? Of course I do. By the way, I got this hilarious phone call and... <laughs> Crystal, it's not Christmas anymore! I don't give a sh- I mean, what would you like to drink? Pepsi! Pepsi. Uh, <laughs> I'll have water, please. <laughs> yeah, and I'll also have chocolate milk. Inez, are you a toddler or something? We're 15 years old! 15 year olds do not drink chocolate milk! Yes, they do! At least, if they want to. Inez, what the hell is wrong with you? Guys, shut up. <laughs> All 
right, let's just order now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, guys, thanks for, uh, you know, having us out to dinner. Yeah, no problem. It's brought back some pretty good memories. Yeah, we haven't done this in a few years. Well, <laughs> anyway, see you later. Matt, do you think it's a bit odd that Mariel ordered so little food? <laughs> no, I, I think she just m didn't have too much of an appetite tonight. Maybe she's just sick. Not, not mentally sick, I mean like, you know, sick as in like has a cold or something. Hmm, something seems fishy. Hmm, since I have caller ID, I could call that weird number again. Uh, guess I'll try. <phone rings> Come on, pick up, pick up. Ugh, I bet this person wasn't trying to- Hello? Uh, hi, um, it's me again. <laughs> Mario, I see you've made a great return. Are you ready to take my ideas and training seriously? <sighs> yeah. I, I just weighed myself and I'm 170 pounds. Is that- Bad? Yes, extremely bad. Now, you start your train first thing in the morning. As soon as you get up, call me on your cell phone, okay? Yes. And I have your phone number on my caller ID, so I'll, I'll be able to call you then. Alright, see ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Mariel, you wanted to see me? Please don't let it be saying the how dumb I am again. No, Matt, it's something else. Dear God, Mariel, you look freaking exhausting! Okay, listen, I'm trying to lose weight. Well, about time- I mean, oh, uh, what made you think that? Well, you see, last night I got this mysterious phone call from someone. I don't know who it is, though, but she's willing to coach me to lose weight, because I was 170 pounds, and I checked today that I am now... 165. Well, I will be able to help you every step of the way! Aw, Matt, you're such a true friend despite how much of a smartass you are. Yay! So, what's your goal in weight? Um, probably, uh, 50? 50? Well, that's how all the- that's probably how all those thin call girls are weighing now these days. Anyway, I was thinking we could go out to dinner. And <laughs> you could teach me a little bit of your tactics. Uh, dinner? Um, as much as I would love to. Oh, oh hell, what? Why does it matter? I'm going. Yay! Okay, Matt, you can literally just stop saying yay now. Oh, sorry. Okay, uh, what would you all like to order? I personally recommend the... Pit, do not even start. Shout out, Pitu! Okay, my friend will have nothing, nothing, with a side of nothing, and a drink of- Ah, uh, water, please. Mariel, you've gotta eat something. Well, I, uh, I don't know what's going on. Please, just quit doing this to yourself. Doing what to myself? You're not eating anything. Like, every time we go out, you, you just say you're not hungry or you've had a big breakfast. What's going on? Don't tell them your secret. Don't make any sudden movements. Uh, n nothing. Nothing's going on. I've just been kind of, uh, uh sick lately. Told you she was sick! Uh, I'll believe you for now. But seriously, Mariel, I'm really starting to get worried. Don't worry about me, Joseph. I'll be fine, as long as I, uh- Oh, look! Our food's here! Where? Matt, I've noticed something different has been going on about Mariel lately. Oh, uh, what do you mean? I have no clue of what you're talking about. Well, you see, I just feel like Mariel hasn't been eating lately and I don't know what the cause of it is. I feel like something sure has- Matt, are you even listening to me? Huh? What'd you say, Joseph? Oh, never mind. Listen, you wouldn't happen to know anything about Mariel's sudden loss of appetite. Uh, definitely not, Joseph. You're gonna have to ask Slider. <sighs> okay. I'll- I'll check with him. But I swear I'm going to freaking kill you if I find out you were the cause of this.
Muriel, I repeat, code red! What was code red again, Matt? Joseph is about to find out! Uh, find out about what? About your eating, Wes. What? He's about to find out? Yes, I just freaking told you! Listen, Jackie, you have got to stop drinking. What do you mean I gotta stop drinking? I mean, like, seriously, Jackie, it's really affecting our relationship. What's that beer? Were you talking to me? Freaking hell, Slider, what is going on? What, Joseph, what's going on? You're the one that caused Mariel to eat less? What? I don't know anything about Mariel's sudden loss of appetite. She told me she was sick. Yeah, very cuckoo. Jackie, shut up. This is a matter that does not involve you. Okay, never mind. The coast is clear, Mariel. Joseph is currently blaming Slider for you not eating. Well, that was a close call. Yeah, I know. No need to thank me. out of my system. Uh, I'm gonna call that one number again. Hello? Hello, Mariel. <laughs> How has your journey been going? Pretty good, I'd say. I have been doing this for three weeks now, and it's getting pretty simple, I guess. How great. How much do you weigh now? I'm gonna check Oh, that's pretty much normal. Um, it's just an on and off thing. Oh, okay. Okay, let me check here. I'm 50 pounds, that was my goal. Well, I guess you've reached your goal, but this is the moral. Don't eat. Oh my god, I, I swear it's always so much fun when we go out to eat together. Uh, y yeah, Mariel, it sure is. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, it has. I, yeah, I just feel kinda exhausted today. Uh, yeah. We could eat, we could eat, we could eat. In fact, I just wanna say that, uh, We gotta call 911! Somebody get the nearest telephone here! I'll get it! No, Pitt, you're just gonna just tell everyone about food. Ugh. Uh, luckily I have a cell phone on me. Okay, let me get it. Guys, I have a confession to make. Not now, Matt. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello, is this your emergency? Yeah, we, we have someone that just collapsed. Uh, it's... It's, it's at the, uh, local diner on Main Street. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Uh, <laughs> uh, what are you laughing at, Matt? This is your fault. How'd you find out it was me that was the cause of this? I could easily hear you when you said, Oh, Muriel, it's a code red! I could easily tell it was your damn fault. Uh, so, are you mad at me? Of course I'm mad at you, Matt. You made my girlfriend starve for three dang weeks? Uh, uh, oh, come on, Joseph. She's just in that one state where she wants to look pretty like all the other girls. <laughs> Besides, it's not all of it my fault. It was this anonymous person that Mariel kept getting phone calls from. Anonymous per- Matt, you may have just saved yourself from getting beaten the hell out of. <sighs> what happened? Mariel, oh my god, you're okay! Uh, Joseph, what happened? You collapsed at the restaurant. Wait a minute, 
Speaking of that, uh, how much do I weigh now? Um, you're about 120. 120? That's bad! Uh, Mariel, that, that's actually good. But the, the, the caller said- Never mind what she said. You're gonna be fine. Hey, Joseph. Oh, hey, Mariel. Look, we need to talk. You're not breaking up with me, are you? No, I would never break up with you. But can you please just make a promise to me? Sure, what is it? I want you to promise me that you'll never, and I mean never, starve yourself like that again. You're pretty just the way you are. I promise. 